How can you find your life's purpose? How can you find your life's purpose? I remember asking myself that. And if I had a time machine right now and I could go back to my 12 year old self, this is what I would say to him. I'd say, Ty, remember, the quickest way between two points is a straight line. Go directly towards what you want with focus. While the whole world is distracted and lost, you go directly towards it. You'll get there a lot quicker than most people. I'd also tell myself, build on your strengths. If you're an outgoing person, build around that. If you're a shy person, do things behind the scenes. Steve Jobs was shy. He built Apple behind the scenes. Mark Zuckerberg built Facebook behind the scenes. Too often we see other people's strengths. We want those to be our strengths and we say, I'm going to do that. No, you can't build on weakness. You can only build on strength. Remember that. You can't build on your weaknesses. You can improve them a little bit so they're not so bad, but you can't build a life around them. And then I would tell myself, lastly, I'd say, remember this. You can get almost anything you want in life, but it always takes a tad bit longer than you think. In fact, in my life, I found it always takes me one year longer than I think. Always one year. If I think I can do it in one year, it takes me two. And most people give up right before. They say the temptation to give up is greatest right before you're about to succeed. We live in a world where people are weak, where they want instant gratification. They say, oh, I'm going to get a six-pack, and they don't have the six-pack two days later. And you know what? They give up. Well, <laughs> you're going to sit at the bottom then. You're going to be wondering what your life purpose is your whole life. Because life's a little bit like a ladder. What you want is up at the top of the ladder. You're, you start at the bottom. Everybody starts at the bottom. I don't care if you were born rich or poor. You start at the bottom in your own life. And a lot of people try to jump to the top. But when you try to jump up a ladder too quick, you know what happens? You slip and fall back to the bottom and it hurts. And a lot of people never get back up because that pain is too much. Just go step by step. If you always wanted to be an astronaut, well, go down and visit Cape Canaveral in Florida. Go visit where they go. You don't have to start as an astronaut, but start immediately on the path to your curiosity about being an astronaut. You know you want to start a business? Start a business today. People say, but what business should I start? Well, any business. Because the goal is not that your first business is your best business. The goal is that you get started. You go one rung of the ladder up, one step up. And you know what? As you do that, the vision opens up and you get new ideas, new creativity, new innovation. You figure out what you should do. If you know you want to get married and live happily ever after and have five kids, well, don't do so much casual dating like most people. You know, some people don't care. But if you know you want that, then, like I said, the quickest way between two points is a straight line. Go directly towards what you want. You know, now, even though the first person you date probably won't be the person you marry. But get yourself in the practice of treating them as if they were the one you're going to marry. So that when the right one comes along, you're ready. When you start your first business, treat it right. So that you build the practice, the mental skills, the fortitude, the strength, the, you know, the ability. So that when the right business come, uh, idea comes along, you're already practiced. Everybody wants a six-pack at the beach. But everybody just wants to start doing a few sit-ups the day before they go to the beach. No, it don't work that way. It doesn't work that way. To get what you want, you have to deserve what you want. Remember that. That's what Charlie Munger, the billionaire, says. To get what you want, you have to deserve what you want. The world's not yet a crazy enough place to reward a whole bunch of undeserving people. And people say, oh, Ty, I know people that didn't do that and they got, yeah, but they're exception to the rule. Don't build your life around that because that happens one in a million. You don't want those odds. Those are lottery odds. You don't want to make money by trying to buy lottery tickets. You want to do it the real way. I'm going to add in one bonus thing I would tell myself. And this is new. I wouldn't have told myself this a year ago. If I went back in a time machine, talked to my 12-year-old self, you know, I'd tell him, number one, quickest way between two points is a straight line. Go directly for what you want. Number two, I, I would say that build on strengths, not weaknesses, and don't be afraid of your weaknesses. You can always find a business partner or a friend or a spouse that you marry that can cover over your weaknesses. You build on strengths. And like I said, number three, I'd say you can get anything what you want that you want, but it always takes about a year or more longer than you think. So stick to it. But I tell myself this last thing. Pray for what you want. Pray for what you want. And I don't care if, you know, I grew up with some of my family's pure atheist scientists. Some of them are very religious Christian. And, you know, because I'm Catholic. When I say pray, you take it however you want. If you're atheist, don't get you know, all oh, hurt by me saying that. If you're whatever faith, this isn't about a specific ideology. This is about a concept. What I call prayer is think about what you want every day. 
Think about it. Ask for it every day. Ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open to you. Remember, everybody's purpose is a little different. That's why people say, well, what's the specific advice? I told you the specific advice. You probably know deep down what you want. Go towards it. Worst case scenario, you got to backtrack later. It's better to take action and have to backtrack than be stuck at the bottom forever. You know, that's my specific advice. You know what you want. I never met you probably. You know, I knew what I wanted. I wanted a life of freedom. I want a life of travel. I like nature, so I want to be around farms. But I also like the excitement of a city, so I want to be around a city. I liked, you know, horses, but I also like fast cars. So I had 12 horses and, you know, you see Lamborghinis and Ferraris. That wasn't because I wanted to show off. That was my dream. That was my dream. You see me out in the countryside, you see me in the city. You know, I wanted to start businesses. I wanted to have financial freedom. I went straight towards that, luckily. Now, I haven't, I've made a lot of mistakes along the way. But every time I follow this formula, it works out. And every time I don't, it doesn't. Your life's going to be successes and failures. And you mark my word, you go back in time, the failures are the ones that you didn't follow this. You didn't follow this. Now, I'll just speak to this. If you're real young and you're listening to this, if you're a teenager, you don't know how young you are, so you better get on it right now. You don't know how young you are. <laughs> what if you die in two years? You're pretty young. You're pretty old right now. You got two years left. And if you're 50 years old and you're feeling discouraged, well, remember the advice about planting a tree. When's the best time to plant a tree? 20 years ago or today? So if you're 50 and you feel like life left you behind, well, get started right now. Better late than never. Better late than never. Don't think about time and age so much. It gets people distracted. When the whole world's distracted, you be focused. When the whole world's distracted, you be focused. And when you do that, you know what? One day, you can come back and you're going to look at your life and you're going to go, yeah, I made a few mistakes. I had a few wins, a few big flops, a few big wins and a lot of in between. But you know what? I think I lived out my life purpose. And that, my friend, is all you can ask from this life. That one day you look back and go, I pulled it off. Not perfectly, but not too bad.